the Majestic. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest theater in Southern Ohio. They are finally or currently redoing this. They're turning this into kind of a park area um, for it. And the Majestic has been here forever and a day. And um, there's a lot anymore. There's a lot of really good small acts that come to town. The, you know, small entertainers. Um, I'm trying to think of the one guy that's on Bob and Tom, um, the, com the comedian from Florida. He's, uh, he, uh, he's hilarious, but he's been here a couple times. And uh, it's really, I mean, it's an old, old theater. Now for the coronavirus story. Uh, Chillicothe, Ohio was one of the major points of debarkation from World War I. And in 18, or 1918 and 1919 to an extent, as um, the troops were coming home from France in World War I, we had, it wasn't so much a Spanish flu outbreak, if you read the, the historians and whatnot, it was more of a, as they drove, they rode on trains back to Ohio, which, you know, they kind of pilfered through to Pennsylvania, Kentucky, uh, Indiana, maybe even Michigan from this point um, they I can't remember how it is the population of this town in eight, uh, 1918 was under 9,000 people uh, they had 2,000 Spanish flu deaths in my town or in this town it's not, I don't know am I allowed to call it my town I don't live in town I don't even live in this county but I, I, I live somewhat close nonetheless so the deal was they had 2,000 people that died right up the road. There's a place called Camp Sherman, um, you know, on Tecumseh Sherman. Um, so when at Camp Sherman, they were running trains in there in eight, 1918, they ran out of places to put the people. And the story is, and I've heard there's pictures of this, the bodies in this building here were stacked from the floor to the ceiling up to the top full of dead bodies from the Spanish flu. And can you imagine a town of 9,000 people dealing with a death toll of 2K? So it was, it, it, with coronavirus now, uh, my county has one of the largest per capita incidence rates because everybody in a prison got it. And uh, so back then, the Spanish flu, if you look through US records, you find that this town had one of the highest Spanish flu deaths as because the, the uh, location of death would have been here or Camp Sherman. And uh, they installed some old chiller systems and ice blocks and stuff to try and keep the corpses um, fresh, I guess. So uh, <laughs> this was a quite a uh, odd place. And uh, this alley here, uh, if memory serves me right, I'm told by uh, wonderful, um, we'll walk down it real quick. I am told by wonderful local people, this is called Blood Alley. <laughs> because you notice how it's kind of, I don't know, there's uh the stabilization work right, it looks like a trough in the sense it's kind of troughish, it's not even. Um, I don't know what I'll get banned for on Twitch, but there's a reason they call it Blood Alley. And this is the name of it. And it's still brick. It's old, old style um, construction. Donnie Baker, yes. Howdy. Donnie Baker has been here two or three times and you can go see him for like 15 bucks. So it's, it's a cool old place. 